What up ninjas, my name is Ethan and welcome to a new Smash video, my very first Smash Top 10 to be exact. This video is going to be featuring a casual play and just for glory type of stuff. No competitive play, so if you're looking for those kind of videos, just go watch Dragon Smash or GR Smash. Uh, they make plenty of top 10s for that, but without any further ado, today I'm going to be talking about the 10 most annoying characters to play against. Now this is always going to be based on my personal opinion, so if you don't agree, just drop your version in the comment section down below, or drop a dislike, whatever floats your boat. Let's just jump right into this. Starting things off at number 10 we got Villager. Villager used to be one of my mains, but that might also be the reason why I dislike playing against Villager so much. The first thing, and basically the bread and butter of every villager, are the eternal slingshots. And it doesn't matter where you're standing, because those slingshots are always going to touch your left foot, and you're going to end up in hit stun or whatever, and villagers can just throw out two more slingshots, and you'll just take them to the face and die at 70% because of a sweet spot. Next up, we got villagers recovery. So, I know they nerfed the balloons recently, and villager can't really just spam the balloons anymore and just fly under the stage and do whatever. But when he uses a fresh set of balloons, he can recover from basically anywhere. Like, you can spike him twice, and this guy will still make it back. But the worst part about Villager's recovery is that he's probably the only character in the entire roster that can make it back after a Bowser site. A Bowser will die, and you can just jump and tap the crap out of your balloons and still make it back to the stage. So let's talk about one more move that Villager has, and that just drives me insane. His neutral beat. It doesn't matter what kind of projectile you have, and even if you reflect his own freaking tree, Villager can just pocket it and have an instant KO weapon. And the best part is, when he returns it to you, it does even more damage than when you send it to him. So yeah, to summarize Villager, always make sure you stay in his face and don't engage him if he's off the stage. Just let him recover and then continue your battle. Up next, we got Mario. One thing I can guarantee you is that whenever you play against a Mario main, you're gonna eat up tilts and a whole lot of random smashes. Like, if you do a forward smash and that doesn't work the first time, just throw out three more. You know, the fourth one is gonna hit eventually. And you know, occasionally you'll get matched up with someone that actually knows how to deal with these random smashes. But there's a solution for that, and it's called your neutral B. If your opponent creates too much distance, just spam the crap out of your neutral B, and eventually you'll land an up smash or forward smash. Or if you're really lucky and you got the perfect strat, your opponent will actually kill themselves. Now just when you think it can't get any worse, there is always Mario's side B and his down B, the cape and the flood. I honestly get a little bit closer to breaking my Wii U every time I get killed by the freaking flood into cape combo. Like first you try to recover, then he does his down B, you get sent away from the stage, you try to DI back towards the stage, but he's just standing there with his freaking cape, he capes you, you fall down, he jumps off the stage, he capes you again, and then he finally forward airs you to death. Imagine someone does that to you on your last talk in the loser's bracket on a tournament. Like how would you react at that specific moment? And then afterwards, that guy is gonna stand up and he's gonna say GG and he wants to shake your hand. How would you react and what would you do to that person? Leave your response in the comment section down below because I'm genuinely curious. Number 8, King DDD. King DDD isn't ranked really high on the tier list, but the tier list doesn't have that much of an influence on this top 10. I really started hating King DDD when one of my friends used to main him. Now this was all a while ago, but the wounds never really healed. Like for example, I don't understand how this freaking balloon is one of the heaviest characters in this entire game, but it's made up entirely out of air. Like it's basically just a round shape made out of air, and it's one of the heaviest characters in this game. I just repeated myself because it's necessary for me to comprehend the logic behind this. But okay, that aside, the thing I hate the most about playing against King DDDs is his up B. Like, this guy has so many jumps, and then you decide to give him super armor on his up B as well? Like, when do you want me to kill this guy? Is it, is it allowed, or do you just want to make him go back to the stage no matter what? Well, damn, I have so much build-up frustration about this game, and we're only at number 7. This should be a good one. Anyway, to wrap up King DDD, the thing that annoys me the most when I play against a King DDD main is that whenever I lose the match with a star KO or whatever, or I lose my stock with a star KO, and my opponent just sits there in crouched position. If you want to know how to trigger me, that is how you do it. Up next at number 7, Bayonetta or Bayonetta. I know that she got nerfed really hard, but that still doesn't suddenly make matches against her uh, that much more enjoyable. The first thing that annoys me about her is the side B into up B into I don't know what the hell is going on combo. And I'm really thankful that you're now able to smash the eye out of it, because I think that is honestly a worse way to go than getting killed by Mario's cape and flood. The second thing is bullet arts. How on earth are you such a special snowflake that you have a projectile which is not registered as a projectile, and you cannot reflect it nor pocket it with villagers neutral B? The smash logic behind that is so strong. 
Alright, alright. Third and last thing that annoys me the most when playing against Bayonetta or Bayonetta. Witch time. That attack can make the most zen person on earth go bananas in just a second. I don't think counters annoy smashes enough already, you know what? It would be a good idea to give a character a move that can actually freeze your opponent for 3 seconds and you can just do whatever you want with him. Who is Cloud? Why are you even in this game? You know what would be a good idea? To give Little Mac a sword and give him the ability to just charge his KO punch whenever he feels like it. Matches against Cloud have a tendency to become repetitive real quick. It all starts off with an approach, he grabs you, he does a down throw and then he does a side B. That is a good 20 something percent if it's not more. But okay, if you're playing against Cloud, it is best to just get that out of the way as quick as possible because that is when the real fun starts. Running away and charging limit break, woohoo! But don't worry, the moment he almost fills up his limit break meter, he's gonna approach you. He's gonna approach the crap out of you. Maybe even hit you with a couple of up airs until he finally gets bored enough and decides to use his limit break move and just wins the match. Oh, wait, I forgot to mention that Cloud can pretty much do anything and just have a lagless follow up. That is also a lot of fun to deal with. The fifth spot belongs to Link. I think it's safe to say that a majority of the smashes has a problem dealing with projectiles and Link just really puts that into practice. I honestly don't think I would mind if every Link player just started playing like Izal. If you just get bodied by beautiful combos and you lose the match that way, I think I would be okay. But man, the majority of the Link players you meet? Holy crap! Boomerang, Neutral B, a couple more Neutral Bs. Ah, uh, well, you know what? I think I'm just gonna jump over them and try to approach you that way. Nope, that's not gonna happen because we also got bombs. Oh well. At least when you finally get up close and personal with Link, it's not like he has a throw combo that automatically puts you in an up smash. Ha! <laughs> oh wait, he actually does have that. No, but in all seriousness, the thing that annoys me the most when playing against Links is his dash attack. Like, I don't know why that attack is so strong, but if that thing hits you, you're probably as good as that. The fourth spot goes to Sonic. The playstyle that most Sonic mains have is so utterly disgusting that I legitimately want to jump off the stage twice the moment the announcer says go. Okay, so I know that there are a lot of characters in Smash 4 that are super fast and can just basically use any move without any repercussion, and Sonic is definitely one of them, but that is not the thing that annoys me the most when playing against Sonic. No, the thing that really grinds my gears when playing against Sonic is the fact that you have no idea what the hell is going on or which attack he's using because every single one of his moves kind of looks the same. And then when you finally think which attack he's going to do because he starts spinning, he can just cancel it out and use 10 different moves. Ain't that great. Also, the amount of times that I have been gimped by Sonic's up B while I was off the stage is just ridiculous. Once again, I would actually prefer Mario's gimp over that one. We finally made it to the top 3 and starting off at number 3 is Marth. Now Marth brings out a special kind of rage in me when I play against him and let's just start off with the worst thing that Marth has to offer and that is his tipper. So if you didn't already know I have a special kind of hate towards sword characters and then you got Marth coming over here hitting you with a freaking tipper at 26% and you die. Like I can handle being dropkicked by Bowser at 20 or 30 percent and then dying because Bowser is a freaking heavyweight and he uses his entire body weight to dropkick your soul out of your body and that just makes sense okay like it's not fun when it happens but it makes sense and I can live with that but then you got Marth over here killing you with a dipper at 20 percent like I'm, I'm not okay with that not at all but yeah the game thought about you a bit as well and decided to give you a shield you can use that shield to protect yourself from Marth's dipper but then you remember that Marth also has a neutral B Fantastic. The second most annoying character to play against is Yoshi, and I kind of hate everything about Yoshi. I hate the fact that Yoshi mains can use whatever attack they like, and pretty much any attack will come out faster than yours. For example, hey, I see you whiffed your nair. Let me just use an up air, a down tilt, an up throw, and a down beat to finish it off. Now, there are three moves of Yoshi that just trigger the crap out of me, and let's just start off with this neutral B. Try to understand what happens when Yoshi uses his neutral B. He first puts you in his mouth, chews on you, swallows you, poops you out, and if you're standing at the ledge and you're nah, kind of above 70% or something, you die. You die because you got pooped out by a character which is allowed to call himself a dragon, while Charizard isn't? Oh man. Up next is his down air, the signature move that every Yoshi main just likes to spam around a lot until you get frustrated enough and either take the damage or get a shield break. Alright, so the last thing that annoys me the most when playing against Yoshi is that Yoshi mains always like to go for a high recovery. And I just can't stand the sound that Yoshi makes when he does his double jump. There is no other sound in Smash 4 that annoys me more than the following. Please listen to this. Yeah! 
I will not be held responsible for any nightmares you may have after watching that clip. Okay guys, it is time for the number one most annoying character to play against in Smash 4. You might have already guessed this, but this part goes to Rosalina and Luma. I really started playing Smash when Brawl came out, and there was this one character in the game by the name of Ice Climbers that just drove me insane. And I was so happy that they announced Ice Climbers would not be in Smash 4, only to find out that he had been replaced by a bigger, meaner, girlier version under the name of Rosalina and Luma. There is honestly only one positive thing that I can say about Rosalina and Luma, and that is the fact that Rosalina can set Luma off the stage, and Luma cannot spike you herself. It needs to be Rosalina, or else you won't get spiked. And I'm really thankful for that, because if that would have been possible, I would have lost my shit. But yeah, fighting against Rosalina and Luma is like fighting against two different characters, which are controlled by the same person. You can just use any type of attack you want, but Luma will always take the hit and then die, and then Rosalina is gonna run away for 7 seconds until Luma spawns again. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why Rosalina and Luma deserves the number one spot of most annoying characters to play against. That's gonna be the end of this video. I wanted to try something new and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I did not invent Smash Top 10s because there are a lot of other people that make those, but those types of videos are always about sick plays and whatnot. And mine is just kind of me rambling on a bit about certain things that I don't like about the game. So yeah, if you guys want me to make another one, leave suggestions for me in the comment section down below. And if you really didn't like the video, just drop a dislike. And if this reaches like a massive amount, I probably won't make another one. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Peace!